Hey there teachers! As teachers, we know there's lots of ways to use YouTube videos with your students. Whether or not you want to use a video to actually teach a concept, or reteach a concept, or use someone else's video to teach a concept in a different way with a different voice, or maybe you want to use a video as a discussion starter, or maybe you want to show a science experiment that's too dangerous to do in your own classroom, or you want to use a video to start an inquiry process. There's lots of ways to use video with your students. In this video, we're going to talk about how do you actually get the video to your students? How do you share videos with students? Let's dive in. All right, so here I am in YouTube, and I'm just going to run over to my channel, youtube.com slash peagreensoup, to grab a video to use here. So we're going to use this video, which is a video on trimming a video with a, within Google Slides. And if you're interested in uh, trimming a video with Google Slides, you can check out this video that I'm popping up to the top of the screen right now. But uh, any video has a share button. And when you click on that share button, you have lots of ways to share. Now, many of these, Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook, email, might not be the way that you are currently connected with your students and so you just want to copy that link and put it somewhere. Well, where are you going to put it? Well, many teachers use Google Classroom to communicate with your students. So I'm going to run over to Google Classroom and I just wanted to point out that there's a many places in Google Classroom to post a YouTube video. So you might post it in the announcements right here. You'll notice when you're posting an announcement, you can say whatever you want to say, and you can format that text. And there is an add a YouTube video button right there. And the cool thing is now it's one search bar to either paste in the URL or do a search. So I could paste in the URL and it knows exactly what I'm aiming for because I have the exact video and I could add that video. Another way to do that is to search you know, embed YouTube video in slides. And maybe we're going to find that video. I'm going to actually add pea green soup because there's so many. Okay, there we go. So I could find that video the same way. Actually, here's how to embed a video in a Google form. And if you're interested in embedding a video in a Google form, like in a quiz, or watch this video before you answer the next couple questions in my Google form quiz, you might want to check out that video. There's lots of ways to share videos with students. So that would be an announcement and you could post that and that's what it looks like. You could also go to classwork and create an assignment with you know, points and all that. But again, if you click on the YouTube button here to attach a document, you get that same field that is the search or paste in the URL. So I'm just going to paste in the URL. There it is. Add that video. And that's what it looks like. And so that's how you could attach a YouTube video to an assignment in Google Classroom. If we go back to the actual share button in YouTube and you click on share, there's a little uh, URL trick you can do. If I say start at and I say at 15 seconds, that's going to change the URL to play not the first 15 seconds and then start the video. So that's a quick little trick to cut off some unnecessary information if you're just wanting to focus students on a specific point. Of course, again, if you embed your video in a Google slide presentation for students, you can set the ending time as well. And you could check out that other video I have if you want to do that. The beauty of the YouTube URL sharing is that the video is already online and so are all of your Google documents. Whether it's a Google Doc, a Google Form, a Google Slide Deck, or Google Classroom, all you need is that shareable link to embed or insert the video into any one of those platforms. I hope this is helpful as you get going with using more video with your students. Don't forget to check out youtubeclassroom.com if you're looking for more innovative ways to use YouTube with your students.